Assemblyman Jim Patterson said Monday in a press conference his office was notified by Ed employee insiders that the Ed computer systems are currently down and have been for some time. Patterson said they have contacted the Ed for details but as of Monday afternoon, haven't heard anything official. It was only in November that California State Auditor Elaine Howell warned legislative leaders that the Employment Development Department had sent at least 38 million pieces of mail containing claimants' full social security numbers since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, as The Globe reported. Less than one week later, district attorneys and federal prosecutors, along with local, state and federal law enforcement announced rampant and large-scale pandemic unemployment assistance fraud occurring in California's communities in the jails, and in state and federal prisons. It took the California District Attorney's statewide Ed Fraud Task Force to expose this in a letter to Governor Gavin Newsom. By early December, Bank of America, the bank selected by the Ed to be behind their unemployment benefit debit cards, announced that fraudulent cases could be as much as $2 billion. Early January found more than 1.4 million unemployment claims in California were frozen since the new year due to concerns over fraud. A few weeks later, California Labor Secretary Julie Su announced upwards of $31 billion in unemployment claims was sent to prison inmates in California's county jails, and state and federal prisons, out of state, and even out of the country, while legitimate claimants have been stiffed for months, or received late payments. This is a long-winded way of saying that the Ed, responsible for paying out unemployment benefits to Californians out of work, is failing miserably. People are desperate, Assemblyman Patterson said Monday. They cannot reach someone on the phone at Ed because the call center is worthless, as the state auditor concluded. Patterson expressed overwhelming frustration and exasperation at the state agency not just for the chronic failures, but also because, instead of coming clean, the downplay it, he said. Patterson announced on the press call that he was demanding the Ed report all of the outages for the past three months. They can't continue to say, there's nothing here to see, he said. I've absolutely lost my patience, especially with what Patterson said was with the upper brass congratulating themselves over, we're fixing it, and, it's getting better. Yet, Patterson said the Ed Brass, continues to say, there's nothing to see here. There are livelihoods at stake here, Patterson said. These people are desperate. I insist they come clean. Patterson said he intends to use his elected office as well as his committee influence to get to the bottom of what is really happening at the Ed. We're going to find out how often, and how long, these outages occur and last, Patterson said.